Good day. My name is Anton Dormer. This is my story of how I came to start the company by LabShare LLC. I am the co-founder, chairman, and chief scientific officer of PetFats Incorporated. I'm also the founder and chief executive officer of BioLabShare LLC. My wife, Dr. Yannette Simple Dormer, is the chief operating officer. We both are partners in this venture. I would like to begin my story. I was born to two immigrant parents in New York City, that great melting pot metropolis. My father is from Jamaica and my mother is from Guadalupe, French West Indies. What made their story great is that they both came to this country during the 1950s without a high school degree. To make a long story short, they both are nurses and have doctors. Personally, they are retired enjoying the fruits of their lifelong labor. It was amazing seeing their journey as a child growing up. My parents were always in school and yet working to take care of their family. I enjoyed my home and would say that my family experience was extraordinary. I always felt safe loved and encouraged to have high expectations. They are my heroes and I have modeled much of my life after theirs. My educational background consists of a bachelor's with a chemistry major and a biology minor. I graduated summa cum laude from Oakland University, my alma mater. I then attended medical school, graduating from Utesta School of Medicine in the Dominican Republic. It is an experience that I will not trade for the world, for it opened my eyes to another culture and gave me the lifelong lesson of understanding others that I would not have had if I had completed my studies within the United States. I found that people in general desired uh, to live a better life all they need in many cases is a platform and fostering and positive environments. Those sensibilities derived from being in the Dominican Republic drives my passion to take hold of the opportunities when they arrive. I also have a master's in biotechnology and biomedical sciences from the University of Massachusetts with an emphasis in immunology and bioinformatics. My career journey has taken me to many different levels within the area of education where I have been able to teach many different science courses and conduct biomedical research. Most recently and for the past eight years, I've had the opportunity to be part of FedEx Incorporated as its chair and chief scientific officer. It has been a wonderful experience. Most recently, I had an epiphany, and this is a vision that I desire to share with you within this mini documentary. Ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a physician. I have never wanted to be anything else. However, I did not know what type of physician I desired to be until I had the opportunity to become the teacher's assistant with my favorite instructor from Oakwood Adventist Academy in Huntsville, Alabama. Miss Joyce Sobrian was a science teacher for the high school, which at the time had about 130 students. I will admit, I was not a social butterfly. Therefore, having the opportunity to be validated by an adult outside of my parents was important and helpful for my self-esteem. Once she saw my capabilities, he gave me a lot of responsibilities which I cherish. In the years from 1981 to 1983, I prepared all of her labs. She would give me the direction and leave, and I would do the rest. 
I enjoyed being in the lab. I knew that I wanted to become, from that time forward, a physician scientist. Another inspiration that I had during that time was from the life of Percy Julian. Again, within the nurturing halls of Open Adventures Academy, there was a yearly emphasis on the accomplishments of Black Americans during the time of American slavery and segregation for Black History Month. Dr. Julian was one of the famous Black scientists that were highlighted. I was impressed by his success, even during the time of tremendous open hatred for those that looked like him. He became the first Black American to own his own pharmaceutical company that resided within his own building. I said to myself, I could do that one day. I did not know the path as a young, hopeful teen, nor did I have mentors to guide me to that goal. Even so, that has been my dream for the past 40 years. As mentioned, I am the CSO of Pepex Incorporated. That in itself is a story. And uh, I will briefly highlight it how I started that company. In brief, I was teaching at a university whose top leadership wanted to bring research opportunity to the institutions. However, it seemed that the memo did not get too far from that person's desk. Therefore, after being curtailed at every step that I did to conduct research, I just had enough. I put together a team of like-minded individuals who presently represents the core management of Pet Fats Incorporated. We have had our ups and our downs that does occur in the biotech business. With our research team, I have been able to obtain several patents that allow us to create a drug delivery platform. This drug delivery platform can be designed for gene therapy or for the development of therapeutics targeting cancers and infectious diseases. Even with the ups and downs, we have been around for eight years. Personally, Pet Fact is in the process of creating and spinning off and building several companies using our proprietary drug delivery system, providing jobs and solving human health problems. About four years ago, Pet Fact began looking for a new home within the state of Maryland. However, we found that the wet lab spaces within the state of Maryland were mostly full, and if they were not full, full very expensive. I said to myself, there must be a better way. In 2019, I started Biolab Share LLC after I identified the property that I believe fits best with the mission and vision of Biolab Share. It took me close to one and a half years just to find this property. I fell in love with the Baltimore neighborhood and was able to speak to one of the persons on that local neighborhood association board. I knew that this was the place to be because I can see that the individuals in this neighborhood was trying to uplift their neighborhood. I hope that once we build our first facility, that it will support what they're doing and bring additional positive change to that Baltimore, Maryland community. What is the mission and vision of BioLabShare LLC? BioLabShare's mission is to provide affordable bioresearch spaces for the biotechnology and the life sciences entrepreneurs, while diversifying participation in the respective industry, maximizing successful human healthcare solutions. BioLabShare's vision will be to maximize the affordability and diversity associated with entrepreneurs conducting human-based biotechnology and life sciences focused bio-research within cutting-edge wet lab settings leading to positive human health care outcome. Success is defined not by how many times one has fallen. 
Success is defined by how one gets up after they have fallen, and that getting up is always with head held high, chest puffed out with pride, to go forth to help those that desire your help as a servant leader. It has not been easy. It has been almost two years since I've had uh, the desired property under contract. Now we are on the brink of creating the first diversity owned and managed bio incubator in the United States. It has been worthwhile being able to have this opportunity to create history, even though it has taken four years to find the right place. The purchase of 100 Gourmet Avenue lab space is just the beginning. There is a major shortage of affordable lab spaces within the United States, and this shortage has been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, this shortage is a major bottleneck for new treatments for human diseases. The building of wet lab spaces is dominated by universities, large pharmaceutical companies, a large real estate company that specializes in biotechnology and life sciences co-working spaces. It is time that smaller labs are created in many different locations. We strongly believe that BioLab Share will be an industry disruptor, creating small, affordable, nimble, and innovative spaces for the biotech life sciences. We desire to become the McDonald's of our incubators for this industry. We hope to be able to create a series of smaller labs, beginning with the Baltimore location by partnering with HBCUs across the country, looking to diversify their offering and support their faculty and students with new opportunities and open new lucrative revenue streams. Many non-state HBCUs are struggling because they continue to have a teach-only model relying only on student tuition. Through BioLabShare LLC and our nonprofit that have been set up by my wife and I, Simple Dorma Bio Institute Incorporated, we plan to develop for those participating HBCUs a non-student tuition-based revenue stream that will train diverse entrepreneurial faculty and students about biotechnology and life sciences, bordering health solutions for the human race. Many of the elite schools, for example, John Hopkins University, gain additional revenue from patent licensing. John Hopkins University estimates earning from passes licensing to be close to seven million, seventeen million dollars per year. Why should not the HBCUs also benefit from such factors? I have completed the design of those wet lines as co-living co-working spaces for biotechnology and life sciences entrepreneurs. The Baltimore location will be approximately four thousand one hundred and four square feet. It consists of four individual wet lab units with offices along with a common lab area. In addition, one of the plans for the site is to start to expose the industry of biotechnology through spring, summer, and fall training programs that will be supervised by students from four HBCUs within the state of Maryland and for seniors of the Baltimore Public School. Even though biotechnology and life sciences generate close to a trillion dollars in revenue worldwide, it lacks diversity. Exposure is key to add a different insight to this greatly expanding needed field. According to USA Life Sciences, there are 6,600 53 biotechnology companies as of January 2020 within the United States. And yet, there are less than 10 founded and managed biotechnology companies by individuals of diverse backgrounds. PepFax Incorporated is one of the 10. It is time for a change. The Baltimore BioLabShare facility will add over 2,000 square feet 
affordable and desperately needed lab spaces, wet lab spaces within the city of Baltimore. The purchase of 100 Gorman Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland is something that is innovative and novel. This is just the beginning. We will still need to raise additional funds, but this 40 year journey that I have taken to this point, one may ask, is it all worth it? Can you believe it? I can. A partnering with other like minded individuals can create an exclusive platform that will lead to the creation of opportunities that will lead to human health solutions. I thank you all in advance for making this dream become a reality. This project is dedicated to my parents, doctors Carl and Ali Lou, my three sons, Corey, Corda, and Julius, my favorite instructor, my science teacher, Miss says Joyce Sokran, who has recently passed away. Finally, my wife, Dr. Annette Sikmagoma, without her support, I would not be able to accomplish this life. I must also thank the early investors that we need that this idea can be achieved. I have been motivated by those who have gone before and of whom I must say a few words before I close. Dr. Percy Julian was a man of genius, devotion, and determination. The grandson of enslaved people from Alabama, Dr. Percy Julian met with every possible barrier in a deeply racist and segregated America. As one of the first black chemists, he fought to make a place for himself in a profession and a country divided by bigotry. At the height of his career, Dr. Julian had reached a parallel level of scientific and personal achievement, overcoming countless obstacles to become a world-class scientist, a self-made millionaire, and a civil rights pioneer. I hope that one day someone will say the same of me.